Yo, my people, damn, CFC, Riddus Blue, back with another video. Chelsea News update settings, man. We have found out who our third round opponents are in the FA Cup. A Mikhailo Mudrik update, as well as a Wesley for Fallen update. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you have a good week, man. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you're new. And thank you for your support, my people. Damn, help me get as many likes, as many views on this video as possible. And now let's get into it. Starting off with our round three opponents, and we will be taking on Morecambe in the round three of the FA Cup on the weekend of January the 11th. We'll be playing them at Stamford Bridge and in an easy, easy game. I don't want to be disrespectful to Morecambe, but hey man, this is just how it goes. League two side, we very rarely lose any cup games, especially to lower league teams. So I'm expecting us to come out heavy favourites, just like we did in 2021 when we played them. We beat them 4-0. So I'm expecting a comfortable, comfortable game. And the FA Cup first game is normally quite easy. So not to be disrespectful, but it's just how it is more often than not. So, hey man, hopefully we get that dub and hopefully we can go on and win the FA Cup this year. We haven't won it since 2018 and it's a competition I hope that we can win and we can finally end our curse of not winning at Wembley because more often when we get there, we have lost more recently. So, hopefully the team can add an FA Cup to the cabinet as well as the Conference League this season and top four. So, yeah, man, we take on Morecambe. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you think we're going to get a W? Let me know down below. And yeah, man, now to talk about Mikhailo Mudrik. And this is a news update has come out, reported by Ben Jacobs. And this is the report. So Mikhailo Mudrik is not available for a loan or sell in January. No chance he leaves mid-season. Chelsea continue to back him. And this is good news. Mikhailo Mudrik has been playing very regularly in the Conference League. And in my opinion, he has been doing his thing, taking his opportunities. Bro has at least six goal involvements in the in this season. So I have to big him up and just hopefully that he can continue because Chelsea have always continued to back him. They have never looked to try to sell him. And with him having the number 10, it just that there just shows a sign of confidence that we will hope that Mikhailo Mudrik can achieve his potential here at Chelsea. And if he doesn't leave the next summer, then that will be calm. But he has this season to prove his worth. There is a long way to go. And just like I just mentioned in the FA Cup, he'll most likely get a lot of minutes there. And in the Conference League, he must take his chances because I'm someone that believes in him. But you have to show that on the pitch. You've been doing it a lot in the Conference League and I commend you for that and I just hope that you keep up the good work because Mudrik is a player if unlocked it can be long because of the speed that he has as long as he just focuses on his decision making taking more shots and scoring more goals then it will just be another game changer for us so hopefully Mudrik you achieve your potential here because I'm someone that believes you knew that believes in you and I will always believe in you. So keep up the good work and yeah, man, just take your chances when they come, especially in the Premier League, my bro. But that was reported by Ben Jacobs. So that is that. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, Mikhailo Mudrik. And also, this is on Wesley Fofano. This is what Esma Resca had to say. So it is a hamstring problem. It is the kind of injury that's going to be four or five weeks. Describes it as a big loss. That was reported by Nizar Kinsila. That's what the call that he said that he got from Enzo Maresca. And it's absolutely jarring to know that. <sighs> that Wesley Fofana won't be playing for the rest of the month, man. It's jarring because he has been so great this season. He has been improving. And remember, this time last year, he didn't even play. And he didn't play at all last season. He has been on his thing and played it from August all the way up until now. You have helped us achieve second or tied second in the Premier League. So big you up for everything that you've done this season. And speed recovery to you, man. And obviously, just speaking of um, Wesley Fofana as well, this is what he had to say after his injury. So I quote, a slight muscle warning as often happens after long injuries. Nothing serious, the body's adjusting, will come back stronger 
as always, trust your guy. That's what that's what um that's what Wesley Fofana had to say on his Instagram post. And man, trust you, Wes man. I hope that you come back as strong as possible and as quickly as possible because you are someone who is a very good player and I've been backing you. I've loved seeing you and Levi Cole play this season. You guys have been doing your thing. And I just hope that you man keep it up, man. I really hope that you lot do because defensively we are getting better. We are. And it's a long season ahead. And with Wes set to miss a couple more a couple games now, it's gonna give chances to a guy like either Ben Wabadi is sure or t- or Tosin Adorabayo. It just depends on how we're going to play. If Kukureo is not going to be a player that inverts, he'll be playing the left side centre back role. Benoit Badia sure could be the central centre back, but then who's going to be the right side of centre back? Like that's the thing for me. Why I think Tossin will have more of a chance to start over Badia sure just because Wesley Fofana is the right side of centre back. So let's just wait and see because Badia sure did come on on the weekend, but. Hey man, it doesn't mean that he's going to start our next game. And we have a game on Wednesday. So hopefully, hopefully the guys just have an impressive match. Hopefully we can keep a clean sheet because we take on ball on the table with Southampton. And that match preview will be coming tomorrow. So I hope you guys check that out. And just thank you for your support on all the content today on the um, Premier League table review as well as the player ratings. Thank you for your support. And just a quick heads up. Mikhailo Mudrik is not for sale or for a loan in January. Wesley Fofana is due to be out for four or five weeks. And we take on Morecambe in the FA Cup third round at Stamford Bridge on the weekend of 11th of January. So that is the news update. Thank you for your support again. And as always, come on Chelsea. Come on Chelsea. Big it all up. And thank you for your support. Catch you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.